Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to take a look at how we go about exploiting a vulnerable web application for SQL injection using SQL Map. SQL Map is an open source penetration test tool that automates the process of detecting and exploiting weaknesses in SQL injection, SQLI, and taking over the server database. SQL injection is a hacking technique where an attacker can insert SQL commands with a URL to be executed by the database located in the back end. A database is a collection of information stored on a computer or a web server that is accessed by a front end client used for obtaining information from the back end database. This lab demonstration I will be using one installation of Kali Linux, one vulnerable web application, and SQL Map. So let's begin the lab with imagining that we have found a website that is vulnerable to SQL injection. Now the site that we're going to be using is intentionally vulnerable and it's called testphp.volanweb.com. That is the URL for the site and this is provided for us by the people at Acunetics. They provide a scanner for testing vulnerable web applications. A simple test to check whether your website is vulnerable would be to replace the value in the get request parameter with an asterisk and that's what we've done here. You can see this up here in the get request. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter and if it comes back with any type of error, error message or in this case a warning then we know that the back end is responding to our SQL request and therefore it is probably going to be vulnerable to SQLI. Kali comes pre-installed with SQL Map so let's go ahead and open up a terminal and at the prompt we're going to type in the following command. So I've typed in SQL Map, I've given it a space, now I want to look at the help menu and to do this I'm just going to type in a dash and a small letter H. I'll hit enter and now you can see all the different switches that you can use with SQL Map. And since we know that this website is vulnerable to a SQL injection, we can now attempt to find the databases, how many, and what is the SQL type that is running on the server. To do this, I'm going to type in the following command. SQL Map, give it a space, a dash, small letter U, this stands for the URL. I'm going to type in the URL and I'm going to try to find the databases that are currently available on this vulnerable website. So the URL is http colon forward slash forward slash testphp.volantweb.com forward slash artist dot php question mark artist equals one. Give it a space two dashes dash dash dbs. Go ahead and hit enter. Now you're going to get asked, do you want to skip test payload specific for other types of databases? I'm going to say yes. So we've already identified this one as MySQL. For the remaining tests, do you want to include all tests for MySQL extended provided level 1 and risk values of 1? I'm going to say no, because I just want the databases. It says the get parameter artist is vulnerable. Do you want to keep testing the others? I'm going to say no. And at the end of the test, you can see that it found two databases, AccuArt and the information underscore schema. We're going to focus our attention on the AccuArt database. Let's go ahead and clear our terminal. In this next query, we're going to use the dash capital D to specify the name of the database that we wish to access. And once we have access to the database, we would want to see whether we can access the tables. For this, we're going to add in the dash tables switch. And in this case, again, the name of the database is AccuArt. So at the prompt, I'm going to type in the following syntax. SQL map space dash u, again with that URL. And now at the end of it, I'm going to give it a space, a dash d, and again, the dash capital D stands for database. And we want to look for tables inside of the AccuArt database. So I'll give that a space. I then give it another space, two dashes, and the command tables. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And it comes back and it tells me that there are eight tables 
inside of the database AccuArt. Now each one of these tables is going to contain columns of information. So what we want to do is we want to find a particular table and that's the table that we want to see what is inside of these columns such as usernames and passwords. Now for that we're going to use the table users. Let's go ahead and clear our terminal and at the prompt I'm going to go ahead and type in the following. Again SQL map space dash u again the URL give all that a space I'm going to be inside of the database AccuArt so I need a dash capital D give it a space followed by the name of the database give it a space and that's going to represent the table that I want to be in and that's the users table and now I'm going to tell it to show me the columns that are currently available inside of the users table now to do this I give it a space two dashes and the command columns go ahead and hit enter and it comes back and it tells me that it found eight columns inside of the table called users. We're now ready to start dumping data from within these columns. Let's see how we do that. Let's go ahead and clear our terminal. We can look for the usernames that are in the database AccuArt for the users table in the column that is labeled uname. We can do this using the following command. So at the prompt, I've typed in SQL map, give it a space that same dash small letter u for the url now i'm going to type in dash capital d again for the what database i'm going to be looking in i'm going to be looking in what table the users tables for that i need a dash capital t i'm now going to be looking inside of a column and for that i need dash capital c and i'm going to dump the information from the column marked u name now to do that i give it a space two dashes and the word dump. Go ahead and hit enter. And for that particular column inside the tables marked user, there is the following entry. We have a user named test. Let's go ahead and clear our terminal. We can now look for the password that is in the database AccuArt and the users tables from the column that was marked pass using the following command. So at the prompt, I've typed in that same command as before. Again, the dash capital D for the database and dash T for the table and dash C for the column. And this time we're looking at the column that is labeled pass. And I want to dump all the information that is in that column. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And in just a moment, we'll have the password. And so in the AccuArt database, up inside of the table that is marked users, we have a column that is marked pass. And inside of that column, there is a password of test. Let's go ahead and clear our terminal. We can now look for any email addresses that are in the database AccuArt from the users table in the column that is marked email using the following command. As you can see, the commands pretty much stay the same depending on what we're looking for. In this case, we're querying the columns that are inside of the table marked users inside of the database marked AccuArt. So what's changed here is the name of the column. I'm looking inside of the column that is marked email and I want to dump all of the emails that are in that column. So I've given that a space dash dash and I've used the command dump. Go ahead and hit enter. And it comes back and it found the one email address that was available up inside of that column marked jemmy at hotmail.com. Let's go ahead and clear our terminal. Now to see all the data in the database AccuArt inside of the users table, we can use the following command. It's pretty much the same command we've been using all along. Again, I've got the dash capital D to identify the database, which is AccuArt. I give it a space, a dash capital T to identify the table. And then I give it a space, two dashes, the word dump, and now I have to add in the word all. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And we will have to answer some questions here. Do you want to store hashes to a temporary file for eventual further processing with other tools? I'm going to type in no. Then it's going to ask you, do you want to crack the passwords? via a dictionary based attack I can type in yes no or otherwise I'll just type in no 
and it comes back and it tells you that the password is test for the user test and you get some other information here so from this little exercise we have gleaned some information we know we have a user on that site that is named test we also know that test has a password of test so we should be able to log on and get that user's information to include their real name credit card information email address and whatever else is available for us in the completed fields of that user's account so let's go ahead and try that so we're back up at our testphp.volunweb.com site let's go ahead and sign up and now we're just going to go ahead and log in and they've had so many people log in that uh, they've told you that you can use the username test and password test to complete this exercise so i'm just going to go ahead and type in test and this is the information that we got from our SQL map SQL injection attack on this website so I'll type in test again and I'll log in and so you can see that once we've logged in using the username of test and the password test we get the actual account information for that test user this example of how we go about performing a SQL injection attack is about as close as we're going to get without actually breaking the law on the internet by using a test site but it is estimated that somewhere between 85 and probably 90 percent of all websites that have php running on them are going to be vulnerable to some type of injection attack and so in this short video presentation you got to see how we can use sql map to perform a sql injection attack on a vulnerable website i'm professor k thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video